Remember Newton's first law that says a body will continue to move in a straight line at a constant speed until a resultant force acts upon it, i.e. an unbalanced set of forces. Um, well, this flashcard is, is really testing your understanding of that principle. And uh, so if a scooter is moving at a steady speed, in other words, it's not accelerating, it's going at a constant speed, then the backwards resistive forces, e.g., well, the backwards resistive forces on a scooter or any body that's moving through air or a fluid, that must be, for example, air resistance. So we can pop in an air resistance there. Air. Oh, that's a nice color, isn't it? Ah, oh, yeah. Air resistance. And that must something, the forward engine thrust force. So if a scooter is moving at a steady speed, there cannot be a resultant force. In other words, the forces must be balanced. So if we look at the forces on this scooter, we've got the engine force going forward, and we've got the air resistance push, uh, uh, drag, dragging backwards, if you like. And these two must be balanced if there is no resultant force, and if that would make the scooter go at a constant speed. So in other words, the resistive force must balance, must balance the forwards engine thrust force. Therefore, the resultant force on the scooter is zero. I hope that makes sense. Remember, balanced forces will mean no resultant force, no acceleration, i.e. it'll go at a constant speed or it might stay at rest.